Hello, Malcolm. Hello, Sandy. Hello, everyone else. Uh, we're back. It hasn't been long. I just realized I forgot to patch up that one corner where I was uh, planning to extend out onto the sort of still forested island there, so... Just gonna take a look at what we've got in place there, and the Vikings will come like the second we load. They really will. So we'll just pause and we'll go look over there and see what kind of situation we left that in. Yeah. Okay, that's not the place. It's over here. We kind of failed to finish. Kind of failed to finish, and they'll be able to bust in. Um, so we need to get an archer tower here and. Ballista tower here, and if we've got enough, another archer tower here. That should keep us busy. Get that in quick. And let's check, there's some other weak points, right? Well, I mean, the place is just one solid set of weak points. But uh, we're trying to fill them in to protect ourselves. I think we're doing okay so far. This area is pretty soft. This area is pretty soft, and we could also expand into here to do some uh, more farming and stuff without actually wrecking that forester. We can leave him a patch of trees out back, and we can access some decent land with two little roads here. So we're going to knock out these trees, and let's see, hey? It's barren here. Oh, but that's getting into the forester's patch, right? So what's here? Barren. Okay, that's good. Fertile. That's not good. Very fertile. Well, we'll cut it down anyway. So we'll cut down that block. And that forester's working with his one tree. He's fine. <laughs> that's barren. We're going to leave it alone, actually. I'm hearing a vehicle in my driveway. I'm gonna have to take a look out the window here and see if anyone's actually arriving. Uh, I have to take off my headphones, turn it. No, as before, it's my neighbor turning his truck around in the driveway. Always makes the dog jump up, and the dog jumps up, and I jump up, and we just have our little time of excitement, don't we? And this area is really untouched, too. It might be easier to get to it by coming across the water than coming out this way. That's an interesting question. Right now I'm interested in exploiting this farmland without wrecking the forester completely, so right now that's what I want to do. So I'm going to try to get a little more stuff in here. And I don't think we'll take any more of his trees. We'll check this greenery. It's fairly full. Um, and we'll... Now, do granaries rate by road access? No, it doesn't show. It would be nice if they had a ticker to show road access to it. I would sort of like to put another granary in here. This is barren. This is barren, I think. Pretty sure. So, okay, there was another spot that I was going to move a well in after some rock removal, too. So let's go find out if we got that rock removal in. Uh, I'm trying to find the area. Oh, okay, I think we're pretty close now. Uh, there should be a rock removal scaffolding. Yes, there it is. So, Oh, and look, it's fertile underneath. So you do sometimes get fertile land back. Oh, no, it's barren to toot. Okay, so we take out this well, kaploosh, and we put in a well, kersploosh, and then we put in a farmio, just because we need more food production in an area where the granaries are always completely full. Pretty funny. Uh, but we do have a bakery rock in here, and a tavern, and both of those eat food. Um, there is a charcoal burner in the area, they're probably not getting wood, let's take a look. Come here, come here. No, he's he's doing it. He's making wood. Good, good. Probably use another one around here. What with a bakery in the neighborhood. And I wonder if these burn charcoal. The taverns. Uh, doesn't seem like it. I know it burns wood. Consumes ten food per year. Okay. 
and this consumes charcoal so it would be smart to get another charcoal burner into this uh, zone and I don't see why it shouldn't be next to the other charcoal burner so we're gonna go ahead and get a rock removal out oh they're here okay forget the rock removal let's see where they're coming from you know I knew they'd come this way oh they're gonna set fires this time eh? they're gonna set fires this time there's no ogres so they're just going to torch that place. Ooh, that ballista opened up a little long range there. I don't know how you switch off all these notations, but I probably shouldn't anyway, because I don't want to miss anything serious. Looks like they are planning to pull in a land here, eh? Are they? Yeah, they are. They are. They're landing here. I don't like them landing here. Wow, those arrows are pretty cool. Mm, I really don't like them landing here. We're probably not strong enough. They might burn down our large granary. Yeah, I don't think we're strong enough here to fully resist these characters. Look, there's two bands here. Wow. 189 peasants are sick with plague. That's annoying. They're setting everything on fire rather annoyingly. Yep, they are, so the plague doesn't stop them setting fires. They're going to go ahead and do it. Um, and our defenses were a little thin in here. And next to the castle... We've got virtually nothing. I don't have the army engaged. We have virtually nothing next to the castle. We are undefended. I wonder if they loot treasuries. Okay, we just lost a farm and an orchard, so that's out here. Okay, we'll 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 we'll, we'll just keep a little eye on this situation. Luckily, they're walking towards these defenses. Let's see how they're doing back here. We've got another band in. Try to get close to them. Yeah, they get close to the castle. Oh, they've got prisoners and they're heading out. And there's an archer tower burning down. That sucks, doodle. Uh, so we need to kill that guy in order to score a successful defense. Uh, he might make it out. He might make it out. He's going to get to his ship, the demon. Oh, no. Oh, good. He fell. He fell. He fell. But these other ones might escape with prisoners, too. That guy's down. Let's go see what's going on over here. Oh man, stuff's getting broken, I'm hearing it. So that's probably going to get sunk. Okay, so now let's see where the Vikings invading view takes us. To City Hall? Ah, uh, to a uh, Marauding Viking. Who is in a completely undefended area of town. So we need to get him to score a successful defense. I have no idea where his ship is. And I think he's the last one. I heard him grunt in pain. It's completely undefended here. Well, I don't think our army's big enough to handle anything like this, so... We just lost 22 peasants to play, okay? So I think that's the last Viking. We'll just check. There goes his ship down. We've got fires blazing still over here. I don't see any more of their ships. I wonder if what I heard break was a bridge. Uh, which means I should check internally for ships as well. Yeah, so a ship came in here, but it's not here now, so the defense has got it. The bridge is definitely the first thing I think we'll be replacing. Because it's a pretty important little piece of town infrastructure. Okay, so I think we got them. I think we got them. They're done, Ski. Uh, our happiness went way down from the plague, I guess. And, oh, Far has claimed a hospital. Oh, that's really too bad. Well, oh dear, that's a bit of a hard knock for us, eh? Maybe that's why so many peasants died of plague, because the hospital was in flames. I don't know. Well, we're going to take this rock out. All right. Then, and we're going to see if we can afford a hospital. We can. And rotate it around. Put it in, and... We're going to also get a well. Put it in right here, try to prevent that happening again. And obviously this area was not firmly defended enough, although it's actually pretty defended. So that's farm rubble. We'll go ahead and uh, put a farm there. Well, if the road just goes to the... Hmm, how full are the granaries here? There's the question to ask. Uh, sort of semi. 
And there isn't another granary in zone here. This is the next closest, I think. It's full. I think we're going to get away with knocking out that farm and putting another castle block on it. And mounting yet another archer on the castle block. Eventually we'll get a gate and some... Well, that's not really going to be the sensible way to move the road. So actually, just take that road out and put a castle block in its place. Like so. Thereby keeping our hospital a little safer. That's a good thing. Okay. Peasants are probably miserable. My... Ah, uh, my phone is... My phone didn't ring. Oh, I left it outside. Um, well, I don't know what to do about that. The answering machine seems to have fielded it. So, I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm looking for weak points. Here we have unrepaired damage from the last ogre attack. That's pretty shameful. I should have been on that. So we'll double that up, double that up. And we will probably archer up a snudge on there too. Probably archer up a snudge on there. Uh, we lost a lot of farms and junk, didn't we? I think we're going to need to go find the holes. They'll be near the edges. Okay, yeah, here's a bunch of blown out stuff. Well, this makes me think that if I brought the road in deeper, I could probably reach more of this fertile land. This is all such the Viking landing zone. And it's all such fertile lands that you don't want to mess with it, eh? So I think the thing to do is to put a block... Ah, not there. Well, that might be fine, actually. Uh, yeah, that's going to be fine. That's just what we're going to do right there. And we've got our well here. So what we need to do is make this all way more farmy. So I wonder what these castle blocks are sitting on. Let's demolish them. Uh, looks like they're sitting on reasonably useful land. So we're going to go with the road, and we're going to see just how much oops, range we get uh, for farming now. Can we... Uh, well, let's... Well, yeah, I'll just use a farm for the moment. We'll check. Looks like that gives us almost the whole area, and it looks like we have almost this whole area. Um, so if I bring it one more the other way, it'll give us that whole area. So we're going to do that, even though it wastes some sweet land, and it's a real opening for the Vikings. But we're going to just defend it a bit more. So as soon as we let that road start, then we'll be able to uh, throw in a whole row of high production farms along here. Nice. And we could bang in an orchard here out-of-town farming operation and uh, then we can still slip in one more farm here now that granary is likely packed oh look at the mess holy smokes that granary is likely packed yes it is so we are gonna blow some land on a granary around this area I wonder if there's another suitable spot to iron mine I don't know about that um, anyway we're gonna take out all this rubble you know, demolishing rubble is kind of fun in this game. I wish my answering machine didn't beep, but, you know, I can just consider it a metronome for my gameplay. Just, but it beeps at exactly sort of a moment that it's almost you're expecting it not to beep again. It's pretty funny. It's just kind of a good design that way. So we're going to get a little interesting here. We're going to knock out this farm right here. And knock out this definitely packed granary. We're going to throw in a new granary. Hope I don't run out of materials fooling around like this, eh? Put that in. And then we're going to knock out this charcoal burner. And we're going to castle up a little bit here. Like so. And then we're going to bang in a whole bunch more farming and maybe a windmill or something. I don't really know. But we're going to bang in a... F okay, we're going to... Now, this is where I'm going to run out of resources. Oh, I'm out of stone. 
Well, this doesn't cost any stone. So we'll do a rock removal. Get that started. And then we will think about what we're going to do with the rest of this space. So I think cranking the granary out was wise. And we do have a bakery relatively close to the neighborhood. Is this granary full too? Yeah, packed. And how about this? Packed. So definitely we can use granary power here. I don't know about the market. I don't know how much range a market has. And in fact, we can sacrifice off this piece of farmland and castle the whole way across completely. Ah, I've run out. That's embarrassing. Let's go start those quarries. Where are they at? Where are my quarries? Where are my quarries? Oh, golly, it's so hard to find stuff sometimes. I don't have a very good sense of spatial relations, and I can get lost on a one-way street, you know. So let's open that quarry up. Yeah, and then do we have that other one open? No, let's pop it open, because it looks like we completely chowed out our stone. Oh, no, yeah, I want you to open, please. Thank you. Thank you. The other one stayed open too, right? Sometimes I get it wrong. Okay, we got that going, so we'll finish castling up over here. That'll stop the devils getting in back of here. Oh man, really? Holy smokes. They only cost like five stone too, eh? Or do they cost fifteen? They cost fifteen. I'm fooling myself. I'm fooling myself. Oh, well, I don't need the raised emplacement here. I can take one of these out get my stone back. So I'm not going to really need that raised emplacement right away. Just stop them landing and uh, that should be enough. Now we are just going to farm around here. So we've got a fair number of orchards in the area so we're going to go straight up farming here. Let's just cram on the grain. Cram on the grain. So, Oops. Uh, maybe not that one. Well, just put in the rest. Should I really farm that? Yeah, I don't think it prevents any access. Looks a bit short on wells in the area. So we are going to... Well, it's not deadly short. Let's check their radius. It's a little short of wells in the area. We're going to knock this out and put a well in. It's sort of midway to between them, so let's go ahead. Oh, I can't even build a well. We will be able to in a sec. There we go. Get that in right there. Okay, that's a start. That's a start. That is a start. They can definitely land here. So we are going to go ahead and archer up right here. Uh, can we build two of those? No, snatch. We don't have the stone. Need those. Need them. So yeah, we gotta beef that because, uh, mm hmm So we're gonna put some secondary weaponry everywhere, essentially. Their ogres are gonna wreck us. Their ogres are going to wreck us, so... We're gonna wreck the ogres right back and make this just a hellfire zone for them. I could almost take this one out. Yeah, I could. I could, but maybe I won't. Dragon side at cool. Oh, he's a nice red one. Oh, it is tracking him. Or it was until I touched the mouse. I think it was tracking him. Uh oh, happiness 40. Make sure they have enough food to eat. They have enough food to eat. It's festival time. We're low on citizens and all that stuff. I'm going to build a new town square pretty shortly. Oh, no! <laughs> wrong button. Oh no, did you see what I just did? I wish there was a revoke button. That was sad. Alright, here he comes. Here he comes. I wonder what he'll break. Is he actually gonna breathe fire for a change? They haven't gotten a chance to lately. He's gonna break houses. He's over a fully populated sector of town, eh? Oh, maybe it'll be an orchard again. Or I don't know, what if he breaks the castle? Does that, like, end your game? I wonder. He's managed to cross town without getting gunned down, astoundingly. 
rare dragon. Oh, it's my answering machine again. Golly. Golly, 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 golly. Well, I should probably go return that message pretty soon. Uh, did I ever strengthen up the corner of town I was planning to strengthen? It hasn't been finished yet. It hasn't been finished yet. Um, yeah, boy, that threw my concentration. I guess I have... Yeah, we've got idle zero. I guess I've overloaded build duration. Uh, the, mar the festival upped happiness a little. I'm so bummed about blowing out that town square. Where would the next town square logically go? Somewhere like over here, eh? Hmm. Don't want to take out that cluster of charcoal burners. They just seem handy dandy to me. Uh, we could take out this brick and make a town square. Yeah, because we're not mining that iron. We seem to get enough iron. I've had the mine shut down for ages and we haven't run out. Uh, what can we do in the terms of rock removal? Let's get on it. Let's knock out that rock, knock out that rock. And that's all the rock removal we seem to be able to afford for the moment. Not too sure how that worked. What are we missing? No, we're not. So do I take out that iron? Yeah, we'll find another deposit. We're gonna, we're gonna re-brick this area. Um, and I'll have to maybe move that well. Uh, the well can probably slide in there, so that'll work. So we're going to re-brick in that area. I've got so many builds on, this is just silly. Uh, have we defended this gate enough? Not to my mind, but we need more citizens. Oh no, we need more beds. Uh-oh. Oh, trouble, trouble, trouble. Okay, I need a manor inside a library zone. Pretty snappy, so... Let's just see what our library zone is like. Okay, we can close that, but then I don't know how to use my right-click mouse movement. Um, okay, we could get one in here. If we drove a road in, took out the Forester Sauvage or moved him and drove a road in, we could get one in there fully covered by library zone. Uh, we've got library zone here going to waste on farming, but it's farming, so it's not a waste. And we've got library zone spilled over here. This will have to be the spot. This will have to be the spot, so we're going to get some rock removal in. Oh, we can't. It's tools. We just destroyed all the tools. Are you really serious? So that means even the foresters don't have any? But we were obviously in enough of an upward trend on tools that uh, we should recover because, um, well, basically, we had tools, so we obviously weren't flatlining them. But it makes me think I should build another doodler. So they've got a bread symbol, even though there's a bakery close. 38, only 13 found a certain... Well, I needed those 13, so... I'm looking for places to build, but... So let's check that library zone again. Doo -doo -doo. Oh no. See, if you right click, you drop the library zone. So you gotta just... You gotta restrain your urge to swing the camera around. So basically, I can build there if I want, but it would be easier if I could do some rock removal in terms of protecting the place and stuff. Maybe let's look for another area to cram in a manner. Let's not work on that one right now. We just can't do it. Okay, we got some library coverage over here that would handle one. Mm -hmm. And all these granaries are always full to boot, so let's consider this spot for a new manor. Um, yeah, packed granaries around here. Packed, packed, so we can go ahead and rip out all this farming and sadly this well. Popty, 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 popty. We can slip a manor in. They may not have the happiest life. Oh, they probably have beach access from here, and that does give happiness points to them. But. So we can build one, thank gracious. I thought we might be too short of materials to build it. So I'll face his door this way, I guess, into town. You know, technically, I think the back of the house is the part with... 
chimneys, but to me, on the manor, the front looks more like the part with the archway. So that's how I put them. Um, okay, so that's good. We got one manor, and it's got full library coverage, so that's good. And I don't think we killed any critical farming doing it, especially not with this new granary going up. We'll store all that food so delectably. And out here, well, we just need it better defended against Vikings, basically. Which we're working on. Uh, yeah, I was going to see about a second ballista here. So we are going to put a second ballista there. And rock with that. And now let's check on some piers. Oh dear, happiness, everything, so bad. Too long to star harvest, yeah. Foresters have so much wood there's nowhere to put it. I super don't believe you. Look, I see empty stockpile here. With people taking some wood out of it. So I don't understand it. We've stored far more stuff than this before. We have regenerated no tools, so I think I'd better build another uh, blacksmith up. We don't need more armaments, so I'll have to remember to reset him. I don't want to take out any more farming if I can avoid it. Um, he could just take over this corner and we could make the road bridge elsewhere or else how. Cause that's going to be a long time to bridge that sector anyway, so we can knock out this corner and build him there. It is taking out a damn stockpile though, that's an issue. It's like the only thing that's really beckoning to take out is farming and you just can't. Like, I could run into another food balance problem. I could take out some internal fortifications and slip him in. Yeah, I could do that, actually. I'd have to take out the library to make it work there. Is that rock removal? On a quarry? What? Quit that. Yeah, no, we're using that quarry, man. We're using that quarry. We're going to have to keep that as an open industrial zone. So, I could put a blacksmith in here. There's no charcoal source near enough. Well, we need a charcoal burner in the neighborhood, obviously. So, interesting question as to what to do in terms of demolition and so forth. The blacksmith is a four-squared item. So, I'd need to really make a hole for it. It doesn't matter where the blacksmith goes. This can come out if we can do the rock removal for it, but I don't think we can. Let's just check. Oh, it's tools for the rock removal. Yeah, we've got zero bloody tools. Uh, yeah, we absolutely need another blacksmith somewhere. Where? Where, 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 where? Just looking around everywhere trying to find a hole to put a blacksmith, which won't damage us. And as we get out to this area, I'm more afraid of damaging farming. You know, he could work here. Uh, he's pretty vulnerable out here, but you know what, we can just rebuild his butt. So he could work here and just be kind of part of new town building zone. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get industry, um, blacksmith, rotate him, put him there, and we will put a, hmm, yeah, we want a stockpile next to him so he can get wood from a forester we should obviously put out here immediately and uh, so we need a stockpile here we have to have a stockpile here Just, it's gonna have to happen so out comes the farm and in goes the stockpile killing our wood unfortunately that's gonna be required to keep him running as is a charcoal burner so we're gonna knock out this bloody farm this is awful we should not be doing this and pop in a charcoal burner, but we'll make this thing a super operational unit right now, basically. We're going to start trying to do more super operational type units that are more effective. And then we're going to get a forester in over here, so we'll just pull our road out the gate right now. Uh, do, do, do. I guess I can start time. I'll just pull our road out the gate right now, he said, with no ability to put the damn road out the gate because there's an orchard in the way, which is now gone. And which way do we take the road? I think we leave that well where it is. I like it there. So we take the road out through the gate. We refarm or cottage up? We cottage up because we can now farm outside the gate. So we cottage up. Uh, tunka tunka. Is that the way? Nope. Tunk, tunk, tink, 
That's the way. So that's good. A little more housing in. They still haven't built that manor, but whatever. Um, roads. We bring the road out to the forest through the barrens. Bam. Uh, whoops. Bam. 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 And then where the forester goes? Good question. He needs a good stand of wood to work with, but we want all the farmland. So we're going to go ahead and put the forester somewhere. We'll chop this barren patch, and then we'll check around. What's this like? Barren. Fertile, but that's okay. We got some barren here. So that's the land I'm selecting for the forester, is the barren land. So we're going to go ahead and chop this to put road in and then we are going to put either an orchard or a farm out this way. I'm thinking we've been very heavy on farms, so we're going to go with an orchard. Oops, wrong. And we're going to heavy up the archery in the area. Um, fire has claimed an orchard. How did that happen? Careless use of matches, I'm sure. Oh, I'm having a little trouble with my mouse. Well, is that granary full? It is, so we're going to take it out. I, do, I don't have the resources to build anything new. Let's take out this rubble. I don't have the wood or anything to build anything new. I've burned everything. It'll come back in a sec. Oh, that is all super nice land, too. But I was going to put a bigger granary here. Because these are full, right? Yeah, they're pretty darn full. But that's such nice land. What about this land? High soil fertility. Medium soil fertility. So it's not as bad as losing all that. So we're going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to demolish, demolish, and demolish. And hopefully we can build a large granary. Under food. We can't. We need 50 wood. So we'll be waiting a minute for that. And we will have to wait a minute for that, because wood is actually getting used up by the town at a reasonably steady pace. Well, we'll get our new forester in pretty snappy, too. Here we go, we're almost there. Come on, little woods. Woo, look how hard it dropped. Isn't that something when you watch it? When you don't watch it, you're like, okay, I'm building some up. But when you do watch it, it's like, whoa, man. Like, we are using that resource pretty hard. Um, so, rotate that. Put him there. And uh, uh, hopefully that gives you enough road access, you know. So we'll just get some farming in, because I think there's a bakery in the area. Is there? Maybe there isn't. But maybe there will be one day. We did have an orchard there. Let's take a look from overhead. It's mostly grain around here. So why don't we go ahead and put an orchard back on. So bang on the orchard. Pow. Good. And now back over here, oh, we need that wood so bad. Well, we're going to get another forester in pretty sharp here. Um, so many areas to finish off and figure out. Okay, back around here, uh, we might want a defense or two, I guess. Just to keep them wrecked, but we won't worry about that just yet. We'll concentrate more on the focal points where we're going to get wrecked. We need to make sure we're really gunned up in those areas. And this is the area in question here. We need to gun up harder. So we probably want a higher range archery tower here. Or we want to start castling up. Yeah, you know, maybe we want to start... Well, okay. Well, let's not worry right now. We're going to need to clear some land. So we'll knock that down. The forester had a little barren land behind him where we're going to put him. We've got to knock this down, eh? Thought we, thought we already gave the order to knock that down. There's more mineable iron out here, so this is not a bad area to expand in. Now, can we stick a manor here? Because there is library coverage out here, is there not? Here's the library. Come here. There is. So, we don't have the wood. But when we have the wood, we'll try sticking a manor there. I probably need to shut down quarry snow because I'm going to build pierce and pierce just destroy uh, just destroy wood so that doesn't do anything for me being knocked down I really need this knocked down oh I can put the forester in now 
Actually, let's get him built, because that's a good idea. We'll face him that way, and in he goes. And hopefully he'll be able to use that stockpile. Maybe we'll bring the road right through the barrens here. Smart kids. Smart kids we are. Oh, wait. That's where I want my manor. So we're going to bring the road right through the damn farmland instead. That's okay. We're going to do fine. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. That should give them nice access to that stockpile over there. Get the wood flowing to the charcoal, to the thing, to the thing. You know. <coughs> Pardon me. And as soon as they knock that down, we knock a piece of road in there. We're pretty undefended here, so we should castle up. Um, I'm kind of hoping to get some of this stuff banged in before we have to castle up. But yeah, the Vikings could kind of ruin us here. So, yeah, defenses are pretty important. Let's get that road in before any more trees grow back. As far as the road will go there, for now, we'll probably hook it this way. Maybe we'll bring a market in. Who knows what we'll do. Who knows what we'll do. But, uh, you know, is there a granary in this area at all? Anything? Any kind of granary, guys? No, but there's a whole bunch of completed rock removals, which will give us a large granary. Which, wait, let's see if this is full. It's getting full. And we are going to farm more out here. Anyway, let's complete these rock removals, because that's super fun. Boom. There goes the uh, iron mine. Haha. -ha. There goes the other rock. Ho ho. So the plan here was to rejigger and get something useful in. All right, let's think about it. But we can build our manor here now. So we're going to do that quickly before we don't have the resources again for it. Uh, what blocked by stones? Oh, I thought it could fit. Oh, that sucks. Can we do a rock removal yet? No, we super can't. Okay, well, I'm just going to take it easy. Oh, it was a blacksmith I was planning to bloody well build. Oh, no, I built one. <sighs> Pay attention, sir. Stay on track. So, right... Now this area. Well, we do have the leisure to consider this area. We could large stockpile it, but I don't think there's enough industry in the zone to justify it. Let's check this granary. It's fairly full. And this granary is medium full. So do we really need to sport another granary here? Or can we hit up a bakery? Just, that'll serve housing out here too, so let's do that. We're going to need charcoal for the bakery, I think. Well, whatever. Let's knock this well out. Oh, that's inopportune. Is that well serving the library and everything else? That was actually a very inopportune thing to do. Um, I wish I hadn't done it now. And I'm going to put it back. Yeah, otherwise there's no well coverage on that stuff. Well, that was dumb. So instead, we're going to get creative here. And we're going to knock out this little dude. Have we got enough beds to fool around like this? Not really, but... Yeah, someone's going to be bedless in a second. We just did it. And we do have enough to build a manor, so I didn't completely screw that up. So we'll demolish this farm. And we will build a manor. And we will face him this way. Onto this road should be good. And then I guess we'll just farm next to him. Probably the best thing to do. So we'll do that. So we've redone that spot for the moment. And uh, we now have two tools. Hilarious. Hilarious. Could use a charcoal burner in this corner of town. I bet none of these houses have access to... Oh, yeah, they do. Okay, forget it. If they've got it, they don't need it. And we just want to use up that library coverage, but we are short of tools. And as far as I know, we're not producing armaments. I haven't seen armaments go up, so we're just waiting on this guy, basically. And we need to keep gunning up as well to keep this area safe. I was going to raise an archer platform a little ways up here. I don't know if we have time before the next Viking attack, but maybe we'd better start focusing on defenses right now. So let's do a high archer tower. Instead of a high ballista tower, we'll actually build a high archer tower. 
and we've got an exclamation point over at the keep. Too long to store a harvest, and no one wants to live here and they're starving. Well, that's okay, all the beds are full, so we ain't gonna stress. It's all good. Everyone will be fine. Probably need another tavern soon or something, but it's gonna work out. Um, yeah, we need some more castly type stuff. This is barren land here, right? Yep. Yeah, Bo. So we're gonna get some castly stuff going here. A bang, bang. This is all barren, so I can build a bit of a real defensive emplacement. I can really make it fairly solid. That's all the stone and wood we currently have, so too badsies on that. And tools are never going to pick up till we get this dude built. So, And we did end up reducing farming out here, so we have to watch that. We should check the granaries in the area right now and see. Okay, it's only half full. It's full. Oops. It's not done. Where's the builder? What's going on? Where's the other builder? Okay, I think we might have a jammed build, but uh, oh, here's someone. Here he comes. He's bringing the wood. Okay, the road connection is not highly efficient, apparently. Is the situation there? Well, we definitely don't need extra granaries right front and central here, I think. And. It's if they fill two, they'll fill three. So I'm not going to break my heart over that. Um, we could use better road service through here. A connection this way through this farmland would really help. Um, does having that large granary in there enable me to break farmland? Or should I break defensive structures? Or but yeah, cross-linking that road is probably going to help things a bit. I don't know. Maybe if I just cross-linked it here at this little stockpile. That's doable. Uh, it doesn't raise the efficiency very much. Cross-linking it lower raises the efficiency more. And maybe cross-linking it back this way would be a better solution. Uh, there's... Oh yeah, there's a major problem with the road network being completely blocked right here by these defensives. So I guess what we ought to do is blow a hole right through our defenses completely and join that road right there. And I think that's going to give us probably the most um, efficient method here. Using up as little farmland as possible and not really making a big devastating hole in our defensives or our farming. Yeah. So, let's bring the road through there. That ought to help things a little. Okay, we'll just do that. And see how that works for us. Shame about all the stuff we destroyed. Um, really too bad. I hope food holds out. Food looks low. Food looks low. Yo, yo, food is low. How's this cranery doing? Staying half full, that's cool. That'll do then. Okay. And yeah, we're getting all settled on here. Mm-hmm. It's going to take a while, isn't it? Yes, it looks like it's going to take a while. And out here, there's nothing to shoot them with. We only have four idle citizens, and our beds are almost full. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and bakeries. Of course. And bakeries. I don't know. There's one. Good. We'll keep an eye out for them. We kind of need more of them. That's a mason. We better just keep our two masons and not demolish them, I think. Don't want to knock out a stockpile. Don't want to knock out that particular well. Uh, gee. Yeah. That stockpile's pretty tempting, though. Oh, we got a bakery fairly close to there. Okay, we're not going to worry right now. What about this end of town? They got any bakeries at all? I don't think they have a single bakery. How's their granaries? Pretty full. Good, good. 
Well, good, bad, I'm not sure. Pretty full. They might actually need another granary, but the bakery should chow down on some food. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to knock the bakery in on this orchard and farm out behind it. Uh, that's such good land, though. Well, that's life, isn't it? Uh, if, after all, if the granaries are constantly packed... Uh, but I think we probably need another or a better granary here more than we need anything. That's a bit of a thing, eh? So we could knock out these units here. Oh, that's part of the forester's trees. I better not. That forester's crippled. Um, yeah, I'd really like to get a bakery in. And how full is this? Just about, right? Like, they need a granary here. Where's another granary at? Is that a granary? Yeah, and it's not quite full. Okay, maybe it's not as bad granary distribution. And look, I just found a bloody bakery, too. Okay, I'm not going to stress about that area as much as I just was. Um, and we can establish housing here and increase our road network here. Good. Well, stuff has built up enough for me to build a few things now. So I'm going to bang pause and come into our new sector. Well, we're still really waiting on the defensive build here, aren't we? Maybe we can do some stone removal? No, we can't. Ah, i got to shut down this guy's armaments production right away. So, take off armaments and close it. And then we'll check it and make sure armaments stayed off. Because I've had some tricks with these things, man. Come here, come here. Oh, I'll have to go over there. Okay, it seems to be working just fine. So that's good. That's cranking along. And the forester out here is cranking along. The wood's getting ludicrously huge. That's okay. We need it. We need it. I really need a bloody rock removal, but it looks like now we'll get our tools. I think we rebalanced tools. So, Okay. Alright, alright. What do these guys want? Oh, damn it. Too long to store the harvest. I am working on that with the fullest of my ability, but I'd rather have a little waste, as I've said before. You do need it stored in order to operate uh, stuff like bakeries, though. They can't just take it out of the fields, I don't think. So the road's obviously going to come through here, and it's going to do a hook. So let's put that in. Let's go ahead and put that in, because it just opens things up for everyone. Makes the place easier to use. So Now let's knock out this, and we'll make that little hook of road. So like so, like so, like so. Terrible waste of bloody land, but we'll just put a farm in and cross our fingers. Hope that works out. And then we're going to do... Now, how's this granary again? C pretty full. Are there any granaries in this direction? Yeah, there's a one about here. It's not quite full, so I'm not going to bother putting a granary in if that's not filling. I think I, I kind of want a town square, but maybe we'll build it on this section of piers. We'll build another manor here, and we'll build the town square out on that section of piers. Yeah, that should really link the roads up a little better for people. So we're going to go ahead and manor up. Like that. Just right next to each other. We really could use a charcoal burner in the neighborhood. That seems to be an issue right now. Is he getting charcoal? Has no charcoal. Too far away and unavailable. So we need to address that problem now. There's a charcoal burner right here and a stockpile right here. So what we need is another charcoal burner. Essentially, yes, we need a second charcoal burner in the neighborhood. So we're going to go ahead and do that, I think. Um, it means taking some of this forester's last wood, or taking out this orchard. Uh, and the forester is not completely out of wood, so we're going to go ahead and take that wood and get that charcoal guy going. So we're right next to a forester. Let's see what his wood product is probably still fine. Can't quite click him. Yeah, it's rocking along. So hopefully someone comes along, cuts down those trees while I'm still here watching. Because, you know, 
I need them out of the way and the force will plant them again like 60 and I'll get into this endless cycle. So yeah, those aren't quite getting full. So we're at full food throughput for the area. We don't need more granaries, but we probably need more food. Oh, cut the trees down already. Cut the trees down already. I really need this done. I guess I could put in some piers. Um, where were we peering up? Well, this is where we're peering up. Let's get some piers. Let's blam down some piers. Start knocking them in. Wow. We were able to afford quite a few. I'm very pleased about that. We got six. That's nice. Knock down my trees yet? They did. Nice. Now that rocks. Charcoal maker goes straight in. And... You know, he's got two grids of trees left here, both on barren, so we're going to go ahead and farm that uh, chunk of nice land right behind the forester, and he's just going to have to get his trees from one step further over the farmland. So that's sweet. That should slightly up our food output for the area, which is good because we just upped our population. Yar, we did. Uh, we got a little too many wells here. Gotta demolish that out and farm it. Do 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 pop. Go ahead and do that. And I don't know, there's a piece of barren land back here looking pretty tempting. Geez, that well's on barren too, so I don't know, we won't fool with it. It's nice to have a few trees left inside town. Has this granary full as a toot. It really is full, yeah. And this one? That's full. And this one? It's now full. I think we are going with... Uh, let's check this one. It's full. We are going to go with another small granary right here. Just pop that in. It'll help serve everything. It'll help serve everything. That's cool. That worked out well. Okay, so... Now, do we have enough tools for a rock removal yet? Bloody no. <laughs> Size... No, we don't. I really want that rock out. Oh, look, the forester's growing trees on it. It's library covered, so I really want that rock out. But we need the ten tools. I don't know. Oh, it's because I got more foresters going. Of course. Of course. So let's check the blacksmiths, make sure they're all set properly and going and open. Oh, they go dark if they're closed, so I'd really see it. So we might need yet another blacksmith because we're not in... Uh, I suppose if I close a forester I'll get a tool build up. That's sensible. I'll close this forester and that should give us a tool build up. Uh, yeah, there's still enough wood to feed the charcoal burners there. So Let's close that guy. Close that. And that should allow us a tool build up that we want. And I feel like I need more archery and stuff out here to protect this area too, because they're going to come come a-torching and come a-looting. The devils doing their devil's business. This barren land, I don't know. I'll leave it for now. Leave it for now, but regret it later sort of thing. Really need to be able to stop them. Not just, not just bother them, but okay, here we go. Here's some defenses. So, a long range archer. Up here, probably our first really long range archer, I think. And then we're going to do a low range ballista here for direct ogre defenses. And we're going to get some archers in here and here and here. And that's the best we can do for them right now. And we probably could use a well out here pretty quickly. So, yeah. I really want that four square space. So the well's going to have to go here. Right behind the forest or on fertile land. I think that's where the well's going to have to go. Because I just, I really want that uh, place there. In fact, I'm just going to put chop orders out on this because I think I might have the 10 tools for the rock removal soon. We'll just keep it shaved back over there. Yeah, they're working on the trees. Good. 
Okay, so keep on stiffening defenses. Uh, happiness is mediocre. Beds are not quite full, so that's good. And we do have idlers, and that's pretty good, because you sort of need them. Please knock down these trees as fast as possible. I think they did. Nice. That at least helps. We really need a well in there, man. We're a little short on that. And I don't have ten tools. I'd have to close another bloody forester. And I don't want to run that short of wood. Oh, that's a dragon. If I ever heard a dragon. You know, I think I'm ahead of my observers here. What do these guys have to say? Too long mm. to store a harvest. Man, I've got an endless trouble with that. There's a perfect balance to be reached. Look, he's coming to bay here. That's odd, isn't it? He's, like, giving us a good threat, and I look over. Hey, the camera is staying with him as long as I don't touch the mouse. I'm just holding my hand frozen. Oh, this is perfect. Don't move. I'm unsticking my hand from the mouse. I'm moving off the mouse table. Perfect. I didn't jar it. My whole arm was stuck to the mouse table. Just not, like, stuck, stuck. Just mildly stuck. It's, you know, what can you do? It's warm in here. Okay, down he goes. Down he goes. What's he gonna break? He does love to break stuff. Oh, he hit that, but he only damaged it. Okay, that's kind of cool. That was really neat. I do enjoy a good dragon in this game. I gotta tell you that. Okay, please. I need more tools. Okay, what's this guy's problem? He's fine. He just needs to make more tools for us annoying. I need another blacksmith. Well, is there somewhere I can put one? Maybe in this somewhat over-farmed area. Mm. We got him. Dragons are no match for a mite. Maybe in this somewhat over-farmed area I could slam in a blacksmith. There's a charcoal burner buzzing away here. Really could use more than one charcoal burner, though. Stockpiles here are jammed with junk. Iron. I guess I can close this quarry temporarily, eh? Let's close that quarry. And I don't know if that affects tool use or not, actually. Um, cruising for blacksmith, and all I'm seeing is like super fertile land or stuff that I just don't want to break. Yeah, I have like all the quarries open, I think, so maybe I should close another one. I mean, we are going to... Well, we are going to want that stone for some more piers. Let's go build some more piers. If we find ourselves with extra resources, why don't we build some more piers? Yeah, we're working on this section right here. Let's get it done. I wonder if these guys enjoy beach access. Let's take a look. Oh, they're laughing in happiness. No, there's nothing special. There's no beach access. This isn't counted as a beach. Didn't think it would be. But there is beach access, which is cool. I have not yet built Lord Levi. I think I built him last. Okay, there's all the cars we could afford. Stone's gone. It's okay. Clears out the stockpiles. And please give me ten tools so I can pull that bloody rock. I've got nowhere else to manor up right now. <laughs> well, I probably do. Let's take a look at library coverage. So I'll Pop that out. You know, there's probably a trick to swinging your camera with the keyboard. You probably hit shift or something. So we've got library coverage in some areas that are being used for industrial or farming purposes. That's a shame, but uh, you don't really want to break them. Still, we've got... Like, these granaries are kind of always overstuffed, eh? Yeah, these granaries are kind of always overstuffed. Let's double-check that. God, it's the best land, though. But that granary's full. That granary's full. That granary's full. And that granary's full. So it seems to me that we are actually allowed to bonk out a, an orchard here and manor up. Now, before I demolish that, let's double check that library coverage. Where's the nearest library, young man? Could you direct me? I don't know what their exclamation point is. It's probably about my not being good at the harvest, so I'm going to have to ignore it for the moment. So, yeah, that orchard is outie. 
Oh, it's such good lands, too. This is crazy, because I'm never going to demolish a manor. Can you build anything better than a manor? No, manor's hit. I'd like to be able to build something even better than a manor. I wonder if it counts as having neighbors if they're across the street. I hope so. We're going to need another charcoal burner up in here pretty stat. But the tools thing is... Ow, oh, I've got ten tools. The tools thing is killing us, because uh, we cannot knock out the rock to slide in those charcoal burners where we want to have them. But, oh, oh, I don't have enough wood now. Okay, now I can do it. We will take out that rock. And what else was I doing around here? I was trying to chop some wood for something. I'll probably use a farm, eh? I'm going to chop some wood for this farm. Possibilities. Oh, we need to extend the road that way. We'll be clearing a lot of wood. The forester's currently using that bit of wood. Well, let's go this way. And we'll go this way. We'll see what we find. We're not going to take all the forester's wood. But we are going to bring roads and networks of, you know, people and life into here. And we are going to farm the zone, too. As we need to. So, nearest granary. Jeez, I don't think there's one really very close, is there? Gonna need to deal with that because they need a food source at their manor. Yeah, they're not gonna have one. Where is the nearest granary? Um, it's here. It's not full. Bit of an issue. Food supply is a little paltry here since I put the darn blacksmith in. So we'd better clear some farming and some land for a granary. So in fact... Well, then we're going to bring the road this way instead. We're going to bring the road this way. And establish some farming over that way, hopefully. If there's any good land. Yeah, well, we'll just try to get some going. We'll just try to get some farming going in here anyway. We'll do what we can. But yeah, we're going to need the road to do some interesting maneuvers to use this land properly. It's mostly barren over here. It's kind of not good, but it's kind of good for laying roadway. So that's what I'm doing here, is laying some roadway. So we're going to chop all that down. Okay, we got this knocked down. We're going to farm it quick. Farm it quick. Yeah, get that in, get that in. That'll be fine for now. Just a little bit extra to flow in. But we need room for a granary as well. And that's what's going next in, but it's going to have to be over this way, I guess. I don't think we have much choice on that. Hmm, that's... yeah, that's an issue. We need the granary to kind of have road access to be really useful. So, not sure what I'm doing. Not sure what I'm doing. Um... Actually, it looks like I might have made a little hole for it. No, that was the forester making that hole. But we're going to need stuff along here anyway, like wells and so forth. I'm just bringing the road out, to ho hoping to farm out here. And I guess we're going to be mining out here. So this is a big expansion. We can kind of ignore it for now. Nobody's got hunger symbols up. They've got all their... Yeah, they've got all their accesses served, but this one, when we build it, may have a little bit of trouble that way. Yeah. So we really could use another little granary, but we can't deke any farming here, because we're already pretty low on farming here. So we need another little granary. Where? Okay, we've cleared for the road. Let's put in the road. So we don't get into trouble with that. Okay, we've cleared for the road up to that far, and that far, but not quite that far. So now we got to see about farming. We leave the forester his small patch of trees. We need to see about farming around here. So, yeah, we got one more spot for road, and we're going to use it. Gonna bring the road right to there. And then we'll cut a hole for a well. Um, here, actually. It's barren, so we'll use it. And then we'll cut that hole for a granary. Um, 
Gee. Good question. Good question. I don't want to take the forester's land away, but I think we'll cut that hole for a granary here, uh, where I just said I'd put the well. And he's still got enough land left, and we just need to put the well here. Uh, actually, I want more castle power there, to be honest with you, and that's fertile, so we're going to be actually using that, and we're going to be chopping that out for the well then. So that's how we're going to work it. And that road's just going to sit there for the moment and not really do anything for us until we've kind of established ourselves a bit more in the area. Okay, that's ready for a castle block. A little bit of ogre defense. It helps, right? It helps. Why don't we cut that too? It's fertile, but let's cut it. Let's get some castle blocks in. Okay, those trees are going down sweet. We need that. And that, I believe, is the hole for our well. Um, put it in. Oh, it's not ready. Uh, my bad. Oh, no, that is probably... No, that's not where I want the well. So, And what's this? It's fertile. We'll farm it. That's barren. We'll well it. It's just going to take him a little while. Oh, did he grow another tree on us? No, it doesn't look that way. doesn't look that way. I hope he doesn't plant before I can get my little granary in there. So, Pause up. Drop the granary in. Yeah, we'll just try to make this functional here, basically. Functional is what we're after. Nothing special. Uh, I think we probably want to chop that down, too. Nah, we'll leave it for the moment. So right there we're going to farm. And then we're going to put the well right next to there when that tree drops. Okay, good. Done. Get it in. And, uh, well, we could castle up more or we could just farm this. Why don't we just farm it? Yeah, just get some food going. Because I think we knocked out a little food production, so we better make sure we're all good on that front. Okay, so the forester still has his patch of trees, and it's mostly barren, which is great. And now I guess we look for some fertile land to farm around here, eh? But it doesn't look too good. It's really very much mostly barren. So it's actually a really good town building area, but not good farming. Too bad, Leo. Oh, well, we're going to bring this bridge in, too, so it's going to link up with the road in the end. Well, we're not doing it right now. Ah, interesting. Uh, that might speed them up if I did, though. Might give them an additional path to go, right? So we'll just put that in anyways. And, yeah, then we could probably farm anything fertile out here. So what do we got? Barren, barren, fertile. So we'll chop down that fertile, and we'll chop down that barren and stick road on it. And we'll leave that barren alone, and what about that? Is that farmable right now? Is that open? Yep. So bang a farm on it immediately. Good, good. That works well. And defenses, defenses, defenses. This is a bit lightly held. That's for sure. This is a bit lightly held. Uh, we kind of want more. I didn't build that up enough. It's too small. It's like one of our original defensive emplacements, and they can only handle a single ogre at a time. Oh, look, our rock removal's ready, but our trees aren't. No, I don't want to demolish my road. We got all these trees grew back, so we'll complete that rock removal. Boom. And we'll try to reclaim that land as best we can. And is there some fertile here? No, no, it's just barren as all get out, eh? Incredible. So it's going to be land for housing, essentially. And did we clear anything fertile there? No, that's just for roadway, and that's nothing. So, But with this one, I think, was fertile. Right? Yeah. So as soon as he knocks that down, we'll get a farm onto it. Just do what we can out here. And we'll start bringing the road in the other way here as well. So, might as well do that before the bloody trees go back. Look, we're cleared for our manor too, so let's go build that right now. 
We need the beds. Actually, we don't need the beds. But we always need the beds. So in she goes. And I wish I'd defended a little more better and heavier here. But uh, there is some barren land that can probably be used for increased defenses, I guess. Alright, let's get the road going here. Oh, wrong. Put that, put that. I guess we're going to cut all the way through here and join the road up. So let's chop, 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 and chop. Get all that cut down. We will just bring the road through. I don't think Vikings burn roads. There, there's nothing fertile. The whole place is a disaster zone. Hey, fertile. Okay, get a farm in. God darn it. Are you kidding me? There's nothing. Okay, we'll just get a farm in there. We'll just get a farm in there and they can farm in the trees until we get some housing in out here. But we're not geared for housing out here just yet. And yeah, we're not geared for much. This is a really primitive outpost, essentially. Maybe I'll put a couple castle blocks over here to distract ogres. Maybe we'll mount a serious archer on the roof of that or something. Or secondary ballista. Something along those lines. So we get one more farm out of this mess. And I guess we could steal one more chunk of the forester's land for farming. Or we could move that well. I don't want to move the well. But it does look funny having it out behind the forester's house. However, he still has a decent patch to work with. Look, he's over here foresting, right? Woodcutting Grandmaster. See? Yeah, he's using that, so... We could probably farm that strip successfully. Just need the well. Just need the well. But, uh, we could maybe steal that. I don't know. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. It looks like we can just about get our road in. And I, I'm going to start trying to focus on roads more, eh? Oh, come on. Knock them down. Knock them down. They're going almost at the same time, eh? Yeah, pretty much. So we'll call that a working highway, and then we'll get our farm in here, right there. wonder what the radius on a windmill is. <coughs> Good lord. Caught a frog in my throat there. Actually, that's the wrong expression. Frog in your throat is when you got a croaky voice from a cold. What happened there was my my throat just decided to stop working, take a coffee break, so I gave it some coffee. So windmill, what's the radius? Ah, uh, yeah, one square. Deedle doodle, not so useful unless you had a big area of gorgeous fertile land, basically. No, not an orchard. Sorry, I actually meant to click farm. <laughs> Blocked by existing structure. Oh, I already built it. Hey, <laughs> hey, whoopsie. Okay, so yeah, I don't want to move that well. The forester can just lose these trees. The forester can just lose those trees. We really need the farming. Can I re place the well in a better way to make that work? So we're going to go ahead and chop that. Can I replace the well and he'll still have trees? Yeah, he will. Yeah, so I'll remove the well. Just pull it out right now and go with a farm in its place. And, and we'll just wait on the clearing here. Because I think this leaves the forester enough. And this area is pretty sparse on fertility, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make some use of it, basically. Uh, yes, I am waiting for them to chop wood. I know it's pretty sad, but I don't want that forester to get in and uh, take my fertile land away from me, because he will. He will. I'm glad we've got enough idle people to get this wood chop nice and fast too. Sometimes you got to wait a long time for them to get that done, but not today. No, oh, we'll get that well in quick because it's really necessary. Okay, that's good. We're good for the area. We're not going to mess with this area anymore until it comes time to gun it up. Uh, let's idle 97. Let's go ahead and gun it up. Let's go ahead and gun it up. Let's make it nasty out here. Let's make them pay for their intrusions. 
make them pay. Yeah, we got our long range archer there. Maybe we should put another long range archer here. Uh, yeah, let's. Why not, man? You can walk the gauntlet, you come near us. You'll walk the gauntlet. Alright, this is going okay, the expansion here. Um, we're mostly full beds. I bet if I left and reloaded, we get some Vikings. I might just do that right now. They're very happy and can be taxed. It took too long to store our harvest as bloody usual. Okay, so I'd like to get more bakeries. I'd like to... Whoops, what's this? Look at that. Is that empty land that can be farmed or what? Are these granaries all packed? Uh, they're not completely packed, so you know what? Let's completely pack them. Yeah! I wonder what was there. <laughs> Who knows, eh? We sure don't want these libraries getting hit. They're our pride and joy. We love our libraries here in this town. We truly do. Okay, they're getting that defensive structure up. That's good. The forester is still functional, I think. Yes. He is. Um, we have so much wood. And we better actually shut down a pile of foresters or use a pile of wood so I'm gonna go cuz I've got one shut down already right yeah I got one shut down already I'm gonna go shut down another one in the same area here no then they won't replant their one tree sure they will we won't mess with them or maybe I'll demolish him and farm I don't know no let's just close him we may want that wood again in the future so we'll close that and I think we'll close this one too so that it's all uh, easy to switch back on and uh, then we're gonna see if we can do some piers because we've built up some stuff for them nice eh? oh that is so nice I'm very happy we got uh, six six piers and that gives us some viable housing space let us check the local granary and bakery and see if it's functioning Yes, it's functioning. It's functioning. Let's get another manor in here right now. And it can have something behind it, too. Uh, is the granary full? I just looked, didn't I? Yeah, it is pretty full. What about this granary? It is not even slightly full. It's because of the no road connection here. So when the pier project's finished, we'll have a road connection rolling. Uh, actually, the road connection is not a... No, it'll be improved by going through there, for sure. So. Okay, we won't worry about that, but we could have a little food supply problem going on here, so... Well, town... And we'll put a... We can't afford a manor. Uh, whoops. Do I have enough cars running, or did I go turn them all off? I think I got went and turned them all off. I'm a bit of a fool that way. Do I need to turn on another quarry? Where are they? I gotta remember to only turn off things in the same area so I don't have to go hunting more than once. Because I... this town's huge, you know, like I've really lost track of where a lot of stuff is. I know the core of town fairly well. I've been here since I was a sprog. But uh, as to where those quarries are, I'm out of trouble. There's one. I could open it. I don't know, open it. Let's open it. For now. We'll open it for now. So that's good. Get a little more stone for some more of those piersy weersies. And, uh, yeah, we got 49 idle. Gold is holding well. I can actually afford to gun up and just melt at Vikings. But we aren't going to worry about that. Hang on, hang on. There's things that need to be done in this town. Well, okay, back to where we were. Maybe they finished building our defensive tower. No, they haven't quite. That's a shame, isn't it? It takes a long time to get this stuff done. Ah, oh, it's almost done. It's almost done. And there's so little fertile land out here. It's really crazy, eh? Now that forester, he does need some of this to use. But I am going to want a library and some housing out here eventually. 
I don't want libraries to get burned down. Oh, hey, it's complete. So, do we do a long range archer or a short range ballista? Or do we crank the range on this higher? Actually, I think we crank the range on this. Oh, it probably can't go any higher. Yeah, it would need more beside it. So, I guess we do a ballista because the ballista has a higher innate range. So, that'll provide fire support for the area. That should do. Should do. And we've got barren land here we can start getting some fire support up on too, so let's go ahead and do it. That's barren land, let's jack up a tower. And we'll put an archer on that one, basically. That should be helpful at any rate. And we'll keep looking around here. I wouldn't mind if they got hurt more attacking the backside of this. It's more inwardly focused. It's more focused on actually protecting the citizens. Okay, just scanning over everything. How's total food? Money seems wobbly. Tools are back in action, but that's because I closed all those foresters, so that's fine. That works. I could jam in a stockpile. Don't need it. I could jam in another charcoal burner. Don't really need it. Unused space, right? Unused space. I think we can afford one more pier. And we'll throw in a pier. Alright, and then we're going to do an experiment. I'm going to keep recording, but we're going to save our game right now. Save game. And we'll just overwrite some other save. And then we're going to save and quit. Go to main menu. I always do both saves, just in case. And then we're going to go ahead and load. And grab whatever. The latest save, and we'll see if them Vikings show, just as an experiment, eh? It's having a little trouble loading. Okay. So now let's see if the Vikings come banging out instantly on us. Because I'm guessing they will. And it looks like we can afford another pier. Sweet. I might be fool for wasting this stone with Vikings incoming. But man, look at all that land we're getting back. Ain't it nice? So we will see, we will see if suddenly Vikings show. We're getting towards where we can do a road connection here. Actually, we could. If we blew out this granary, which never holds anything, we could build a road connection immediately. So I think we will. Uh, on the other hand, that granary might be empty because people really need it there for their homes. That might actually be the reason that granary is empty, so... That's something to be considered as well. That's something to be considered as well. Fire has claimed an archer tower. Oh well, shoot. Demolish. And do we need to replace? I don't think we technically do. I think we can go, you know, use that archer power in some less properly defended zone here, so. Yeah, let's go ahead and put one here. Somewhere in this mess. I'm thinking... Well, that doesn't have the range we need. Uh, right there overlooking the town. Okay. Now we need to build something that uses up a lot of wood. <laughs> okay, we've got a small bit of castling going up here. Uh, we can afford more archery. We can afford to buy a couple soldiers. Let's keep growing that army while I think of it. Oh, it's my phone again, but I'm still recording. I'm still recording. Oh well, that's... I'll, I'll have to return the message. That's three messages, but... I need to check this granary, too. It's full. Hmm, okay, other local granaries. Let's check. Uh, that soldier came in quick. Full. So, granary power would be smart here. How about this granary? It's not full. Alright, we're not going to stress. Here they come. Perfect. I mean, awful, but also, it's kind of what we wanted. So, let's see what happens here. Train another soldier. Ballista opening up. They're not scoring any hits at this range, though, eh? They just don't. They never hit at the high range. Shorter range, they do. Yeah, oh, well, they're going to take a few rounds. But they're taking pretty good at path in, eh? 
Oh my golly, yeah, they're taking a pretty good path in. Okay, so that guy's down. I don't think that guy's going to make it in, but he will break our bridge, eh? Wow, no, he's down. These guys are shearing off to come land over here. That's how the hospital gets broken, eh? Can't score hits from that range. This guy's getting roasted over here. Ah, uh, see, we could use a few more archer towers along there, eh? That would help there with the roasting. Okay, so these guys are incoming. They'll be the first to land. We'll keep an eye on that from over here. Oh yeah, we're gonna lose. Uh, we're gonna lose some towers, eh? We're gonna lose some towers. They're right all over us. Well, that's one down. We do have quite a lot of uh, arrows here. So they are getting bashed really hard. Okay, let's... Wow, then then come the Vikings. So these guys are still actually on fire over here. Let's see how they go. And, okay, this guy's here. So he's definitely incoming full on. Eh? And uh, they're not targeting him properly either. So the secondary defensive emplacement helps with that. But it looks like he's going to cause some trouble. Yeah, he is going to cause some trouble. Ah, uh, he's down. Sweet. Okay, let's try these guys again over here. Okay, Vikings are pathing out. They're going to land and set fires right here. And what about these dudes? Are they going to get killed? Yeah, one's down. That boat's, like, jaggered into the land, eh? I don't know if they're going to survive a landing over there. So, let's just see what's going on over here. Because they are coming in. They are coming in over here. Yeah, we definitely need a few more towers of power. Oh, that ogre. Well, he just about got there, eh? Boy, they sent a lot of people. How'd this get on fire? Darn. I don't even know how they got that on fire. So over here, they really split up their attack on us this time. It's pretty harsh. Luckily, we have fairly dense defenses. Okay, fire's claimed an archer tower. I am going to replace that right now right now like so it's a pretty essential little piece of equipment that one okay so try this way what do we got oh we got full on ogre assault and we got fires burning in town so oh no those are charcoal burners the ogres aren't doing well they've been getting a bang and I guess we finally got enough density of firepower to give them a problem this one might take out an archer tower no he's gonna face plant that sounds like a dragon I just heard a dragon. So over here, we've got Vikings successfully landing, do we? No, they're sailing on by through a, a firestorm of arrows, so it's probably not going to go very well for them here. They are pretty heavily bombarded. I, I think they may turn away when the bombardment's too heavy. So back over here. Just, oh yeah, this is where the main force is coming into town here, so here we go. This is the main force entering town. I'm going to have to ignore the dragon. Well, I guess we could go look at the dragon. He's coming in this way, okay. So he's actually probably going to fly pretty much over the combat. So they did come in through a good weak zone here. This is really undefended, and I had been thinking it was undefended. and It's given them fully successful access to our town, and they may even be able to escape to their ships. Um, which would really be disappointing. Okay, let's check the other side of town. Wait, what do we got here? Uh, a dragon's taking fire. So he's going to break something when he goes under. Looks like these guys did not make it. They did not successfully land. They got sunk. So we'll go all the way around the coastline here. And there's the fires. You can see them burning. So, you know, that's where these jerks are, eh? And our internal defenses have actually been slightly weakened by reclaiming land and stuff. Okay, farm out. We're going to go ahead and replace immediately on stuff, I think. Um, just try to stay on it, basically. So I don't have to go around and deal with a lot of stuff. They're going to really break a lot of things, I think, because they're setting a lot of fires. Luckily, we do have wells. I don't know why we have idlers when the town's on fire. I mean, run, right? Good, he's down. Too bad you can't kill the leaders separately from the little guys, eh? 
Like if you knock down the leader and they sort of ran away or something. Ah, oh, Vikings don't run away. Vikings never run away. Okay, so the dragon's down, but nothing was destroyed. Um, we got still incoming. We got a horde landing right here. And we just gotta make sure nobody makes it back to their ship, so. Yeah. Ooh, 86 plague. 86 have plague. That's okay. We've got doctors for that. Okay, so we're gonna wipe out this troop, I think, because they're alone, basically. And there's two boats left. Here's the fire, so that's where they are. And come in close here. Yeah, down that one goes. Okay, so there should just be the one now. Here he is. And that should be the last guy. Yeah, he's done. Fire has claimed an orchard, so... We will rebuildify that immediately. Because we don't, you know, we're in okay balance, so let us not get out of balance, basically. We'll make good our losses as quick as we can. Hopefully, we can get this manor put out. That sucks. Uh, yeah, we're done, Vikings. We defended. Happiness stayed at 69, although the plague is probably going to cause some misery, I guess, eh? Alright. So we've got so many idlers that I'm thinking we definitely need an industrial expansion and a work expansion around the place. So that means more stuff. So I guess marketplaces, stockpiles, things like that. Uh, we've got a lot of materials built up that we can go spend on piers right now. And I'm gonna... Ooh, look, I mean, look. But what good are the... You know... We'll just leave that. Those people might be enjoying beach access from that. I don't know. Why don't I check a nearby house and see if it enjoys beach access? I don't think so. No, I don't think it does. Hey, what's the Exxon for? Residents want neighbors. Too bad. They don't get them. Um, right. Now I just lost track of what I was doing. That's so funny. Pierce. We finish this in and get the road rocked through it. Fire has claimed an archer tower. Okay, and I th I was saying I wanted a few more archer towers anyway, so let's throw some on. We had a bit of a long wall that didn't have them, and that's probably allowing Vikings to get shot less. So I'll we'll put a couple there, one there, and uh, we also had dudes getting in over here. Dudes were getting in over here. Yeah, they came waltzing Matilda up in our stuff. Okay, so I guess our next episode project is to build a defensive zone in that area. Just get in some fortifications, because I think we're out of episode time here. I think I should probably call it. But we need to build some fortifications in here to get some fire coverage, so we won't waste any more archer towers just randomly putting them in where they might be useful, eh? We'll go ahead and not do that. And, uh, yeah, one peasant died of plague. That's pretty good. Happiness is still at 69. Too long to store the harvest. Good day, sire, and good day, sire. No congratulations for wiping out Vikings or the dragon that time. And it seems like the dragon didn't break anything either. Well, there we are. We made it. We survived. The town is functional and balanced. I would kind of like more protection for everything and everyone, but that's me. And we're going to have to keep cranking food output pretty hard um, to manage. Beds are almost full now, so that's good. And we're starting our new area, basically, although it's going to need a lot more services and the like. Uh, we are just going to go ahead and put an archer tower on this right now. I think that's probably a pretty smart idea. Get that on there. So they will try to come in this way, too, and we, we will nail them. All right, folks, that's it for the day. Let's head back over to the keep. And here we are at our own keep. It's a messy keep, but it has road service, and we don't mind being farmed at. Here's the barracks. Well, let's train a soldier. Great, we got lots of idlers, so let's train a soldier. I wonder where Sir Dorkafire is. They were right around here before. Oh dear, I think I've lost my hero. Oh no, where's my hero? Oh, maybe the Vikings killed my hero. I wonder if the Vikings killed my hero. Dude, that sucks. Okay, so 
next episode we will build some defenses in the weak zone and we'll look for the hero. <laughs> we'll look for the hero. And if we find them, that's great. And until that time, I hope you had fun with me here today. I certainly had fun with you guys. And, uh, yeah. Bye for now.